Hey guys, what's going on? So last weekend I talked about a new project coming up and if you read the title you probably already figured it out. Um, I was gonna go pick it up last weekend but I didn't get a chance. So me and my wife ran down and got her today. So let me move the camera and I'll show you what we got here. All right, there it is. A little bit beat up, but it's a Cub Cadet model 147. Uh, gentleman I work with, we were talking the other day, and he says, "Hey, you know anybody who want a tractor?" I'm like, "Hell yeah, I would take it." So he ended up giving it to me. So you can't beat that. Free's always good. And when I was growing up, my dad had a almost certain it's a cub cadet but i haven't been able to get a hold of him to find out for sure it was either a cub cadet or it was like a sears brand i seem to recall it being a little bit more gold in color than the yellow anyway this will be the next project we do it's in eh, okay shape a little rust here Missing a few parts here, needs a new seat. Um, we threw in a box of goodies, miscellaneous brackets, bolts, and stuff that he's pulled off of here. He thought that this was his grandfather's tractor. Um, and he got it from his brother. And he talked to his brother and said, no, this is not the same tractor. His brother got it from a guy who got it from another guy and another guy, and it's just kind of been passed around for a while. Nobody's uh, been able to get her going. He said he did have the engine running. It's got a Kohler 14 horsepower motor in there. <clears throat> so he said that ran, but he couldn't get it to shift. So the hydrostatic transmission in here needs a little work. And those are fairly simple. Probably compared to the, the hydraulics in that old, that old saw we did a little while ago. Hopefully it's going to be easier than that. So hoping there's lots of videos on YouTube on how to fix them. In fact, I wanted to give a shout out to a guy. He's done a lot of these Cub Cadet restorations. He's got a great channel where he documents the restorations he's done. Um, his channel is Mike's How To. And I'll put a link to his site down below. Seems like a real nice guy. He, he's kind of like me. He answers all the uh, comments he gets. And, or at least he tries. So, yeah, he seems like a real good guy. Very knowledgeable. So, I'm sure I'll be referring to his channel a bunch. Uh, it's got the air cleaner. It's been pulled off. And the points, points cover. Looking at the points, they look like they're new points. Looks like he's got a new coil on here. And the condenser, you probably can't see, that's also new. So hopefully they were replaced with the, the correct ones. Parts for these seem fairly red, fairly available. Um, there's a lot of forms where guys you know, love these things and restore them. He does have the mower deck for it, which is great, but it's at his brother's house. I think that's in Pennsylvania, so... Anyway, next time he runs the back there, he'll grab that and bring it up for me. Um, missing the front grill. Let me move you around a little bit. Zoom you in. So you can see it's missing the front grill, but the headlights and stuff are there, which is good. Air cleaner's off. You can see the car up there. Gonna have to rebuild that, I'm sure. Brake pedal and stuff's all there. Tires are in decent shape. The seat is trashed. <laughs> but the hood, hood looks good. Really no rust on it. Um, it looks like it's been repainted. Or, yeah, a couple spots looks like it's been repainted. It did have an owner's manual, a service manual, and a 
operation operator's manual in there. Let me move you around to the side here. So you can see it's not terrible shape, but it's not great either. The wiring in this thing is a nightmare. It's got a bunch of uh, cracked wires. I'm going to have to re rewire it. I know you can get wire harnesses for this, but that's something I can't afford right now. This thing's going to cost me more money than I've already got. So Money is very tight right now, so this is going to be a project that is going to go on for some time. So you can see the tires aren't too bad. I believe they are original. It's got the original ripped tires on the front. You can see it's got the electric lift here. This is your starter, starter alternator, regulator. Um, A little bit of rust going on down here, but the plan is to completely strip this down to every last piece, rebuild it, paint it, make it pretty. The gas tank is in good shape. There's no rust inside and it's nice and clean in there. I'll have to get a battery for it. Um, right now I got an old one out on the charger. I don't know if it's going to work for this or not. It might. So yeah, gas tank looks nice and clean. Headlights, cracked wiring everywhere. See the voltage regulator. See there's some cut wires in here, cracked and cut. And fun so the first thing I'm going to tackle on this is I'm going to go in and look at a couple diagrams wire diagrams and see what I need to do to be able to turn this thing over and I'll uh, make sure I check the fluid in the motor and see if we can't get that motor running Better check the hydraulics in the rear end too. So yeah, Cub Cadet. I'm kind of excited about this. Um, something I want to get. I'd love to get a plow for it in the winter time. Here in Utah, we get a ton of snow. Even better would be a snow blower for it. But that's something that's going to have to wait. Ain't no way I can afford one of those right now. Another shot of the front end. It's got the International Harvester symbol there between the lights. But it's got a big scratch running right through the center of it. See the seat is trashed. Probably have to see if I can pick up a cheap one from Tractor Supply. Shot of the rear end. I was hoping it was going to have the lift back there, but it don't. So that'll have to be setting my track down. I see quite a few parts for these on eBay. One thing that's kind of strange, these round headlights and then where it's squared. And I think those are original. I've seen that on a, several pictures of them. So I don't know if International Harvester just had a whole bunch of them and they stuck them in there or what. But it's got holes that's not even going into the lights. This one's busted.
here you can see the steering console I guess you can call it Got the choke that's for the lift and the throttle and your uh, forward and reverse which is completely locked up and it's been busted so I'll have to get a new one of them center cap for the steering wheel is already also busted so I'll be on the lookout for one of them and like I said this is going to be a, a slow restoration I'll just do it when I get money for parts so this might take <laughs> take a while So yeah, this is going to be a fun project. Um, like I said, my dad had one and I can't remember if it was a Cub Cadet or what. But I was just little and we had this huge garden out back. I mean, it was probably a good half acre. And he had a plow attachment for his and I remember as just being a little kid. Stand on that end of that plow to give it some more weight so it would dig down into the dirt. I also remember him flipping it over on himself once. He was loaded in the back of the truck and there was a... Up the road a ways there was a place that had a dirt ramp that he could load it into the truck or the trailer. I can't even remember. Anyway, he was driving up that thing and that sucker come right back over on top of him. You guys know how my memory is. It ain't worth a crap. But those are a couple memories that I do have that I can still remember. Remember his had some wheel weights, some chains for his tires. We had a plow on the front end for pushing snow. So yep, good memories. Alright, we'll call it an end to this. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go and check on some wire diagrams. I think I even have one in that booklet. That Bill gave me. Bill's the guy that gave me the tractor. And we'll see if we can't figure that out. See if we can't get this thing to turn over.